Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. I am going to start talking even though I'm not positive that we are broadcasting. One of the downsides of the Mevo system, uh, quite a weakness, I hope they fix it in their future editions. Um, this painting is finished. Now obviously the title of this is finished in quotes, which means if I'm doing something to it, then it's clearly not finished, right? So I hope you're understanding what I'm saying there. It's quote unquote finished as clearly it's not if I'm still working on it anyway, but <laughs> it's finished in that I could, I could have delivered this to a gallery. I'm happy with it, but I still have it in my possessions and I, and possession and I have not uh, delivered it to a gallery. So it's fair game. And I like the painting quite a bit. Uh, but I betcha, <laughs> I bet I can improve on it in just a few minutes. That's what I'm going to try to do here is to limit it to a few minutes by doing some glazes. Now, please understand that this painting is entirely dry. It's not cured. Uh, the difference being, um, I feel like I'm not going to do this. I feel like I could take my fingernail and scratch off some of the last layers of oil. So it's not cured, but I do any glazes that I want on top of this. And, and then if I don't like it, I can take a rag and wipe it off, if you will, with impunity, <laughs> without being punished. Uh, so I'm, I'm free to do a lot of experimentation. Now, let me tell you what, what the glaze I'm using. My normal glazing medium is Liquin Original, right? But that's a fast dry glaze. And I have to, I have to scratch my chin and think for a minute, hmm, is all the oil paint on here fast dry? That is to say, did I have liquid in it or was it an alkyd? And the answer is, oh no, I should into straight out of the tube oil paint without any liquid. That means some of the paint on here is slow dry. Are you, are you tracking with me? And the old expression, fat over lean, forget it. You never heard it. It's misleading. It, it's an old fashioned, does not apply to today. The real phrase you need to memorize is slow dry over fast dry. You want the stuff underneath drying faster. If you get it reverse order, it will crack. Okay, so I have to use a slow dry medium, not a fast dry. Because if I use this, I may very well indeed be in danger of this cracking. So my favorite slow dry is this strangely named product. <laughs> they were not, I, they did not invite me to the marketing board meeting when they named this stuff, Neil McGill. Let me show that to you again. Neil McGill. I use it because I like it. I don't use it because I like the name. I take it there's an old fashioned McGill. Otherwise there couldn't be a new McGill, right? So that's as far as I'm going to go with that. But it's a, I like it because it, it's very, very transparent, very glossy, very fluid. I like it. Okay. Now what colors am I going to do? The answer is any colors I feel like. So, and if I put something on and I decide I don't like it, I can wipe it off. But I feel like this whole area, the, the sun is coming from our left, hitting the fronts of these buildings and reflecting. Um, I'm going to darken the sky. And, and uh, by the way, I already know when I'm glazing, I'm going to do some painting, quite a bit of painting with a rag. Okay, so that already goes without saying, so to speak. But I just said it. So there, it didn't go without saying. <laughs> so let's zoom in first. That If this area down here were bluer, I'm thinking I would like it. Now, bluer, warm blue, definitely not warm blue. Cool blue, maybe even purple violet. You with me? So I'm going to start with just pure uh, ultramarine. And see, so this is, this is to indicate now, again, just so, so I don't confuse you. I just painted blue over, say, for instance, these headlights. That is not a pleasant effect. So I'm going to come in and wipe that off. Now, if I, if it doesn't come off enough, then I'll dip this rag, just a corner of this rag into a tiny bit of Gamsol. You with me? 
and then I then it it wipes off completely, just the way it was a few minutes ago. Okay, but that comes later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I want I don't want you to be confused and go, oh, you just ruined your headlights or something like that. Okay, ruined your headlights. <laughs> Did he just say ruin your headlights? That's a joke. That is not true. <laughs> it just dawned on me when I said that. Like, it sounded like I said, I just ruined my headlights. No, I ruined my headlights. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so I a chance to back up and look at the painting and ask myself, hmm. Do I like that better or not? And tell you the, to tell you the truth, I'm a little bit ambivalent. That means I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure I like that better. Okay, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get all upset and think too much. Let's let's go up here. And uh, I have a new tripod here that I can raise you guys up and really try to get rid of uh, the glare that you're you're struggling with all the time. So bear with me for just a minute while I change your angle. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I've got, still got the same ultramarine blue only. I'm going to up here. Of course, I'm wanting to make the sky darker and bluer. And this building over here, this blue building, I also think I want it bluer. Now I do like I do like the sky better like that. But let's go ahead again. I, do, I don't want to confuse you here. I want to make sure that some of you are going. Ooh, no! Look, I don't I don't like you do those clouds. Of course I don't either. No 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 no. <laughs> You're with me. So I'm going to wipe off the front of this building. As, as I've said often before, I love painting with a rag because you get such exquisite control without all the downsides of, of painting with exquisite control. Most of the time when you paint with exquisite control, it's a disaster because it looks like you were in hyper control mode. Are you with me? See, now this building right here, all of a sudden, man, that just improved. That's nice. Okay, now let's go to the sky. Of course, I, no, I don't want this blue sunset colored clouds right so i'm lifting it off if and again if i get exasperated or frustrated if i decide i really annoyed whatever you're using over there and and wipe everything off i just did the very worst that could happen here the very worst thing that could happen here is that i end up with the painting exactly the way it was before i before i started these glazes and I was quite happy with it before I started the glazes. I hope that makes sense. We got a dark spot right here that I'm not sure about. So yeah, that's better. See, so now I have the benefit of, and it's all soft. It's all soft because I'm painting with a rag. I have the benefit of the deeper blue up here, but the yellow golden clouds are still um, the color I want them. Now there's a little bit of sunlight hitting this corner of this building. There we go. There we go. That's nice. But this this uh, face of this building just got slightly darker and cooler like that. This one here, I'm not sure if I did that. Uh, I did this tree a few minutes ago and I definitely like the tree better. Now, let me explain something to you. The The expression I usually use, and forgive me for repeating this lousy grammar, but it's just a, a mnemonic device. Ain't a color made that don't look better with something else on top of it. Ain't a color made that don't look better with something else on top of it. What I'm getting at there is really transparent colors sing, whereas um, opaque colors just kind of sit there. So by by applying a transparent glaze on top of all of these, 
juvenile word, but that's just the best way to put it. Everything gets prettier. Um, everything's better with blue bonnet on it. Woo! I just aged myself. Everything's better with trans. Um, I just I, I did this this lamp, got it back to white. Let's make sure the very center is just as bright as it was. There we go. So actually, this light just got slightly brighter in the last few minutes because the area around it got slightly darker. Then I did these two banners, and I only wiped off. I I get a little freebie, a little a little. Whoa! Just made those banners better because now they fade even more from dark to light and dark to light. Because because I did glaze over the whole thing, then wiped off just the top part. How about the back of this sign right here? Yeah, I think. How about the flag? Uh, oh, that doesn't have anything on it. Let me let me come down here and paint again. All I've got on the, my brush, all I've done so far is ultramarine blue. Because my my guess when I started this today, my guess was. I wanted more cool colors, a more cool feel down here in the shadow area. I'm not done wiping it. I have to hit, uh, well, I'm going to do this, the back of this sign again because I just applied paint, paint to it. And let's do the flag. I want it to come forward just a little bit. This is so fun because it's just so easy. So easy, and you get to see immediate results. Oh, I'm almost off the picture there. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna. I, I just brought this rag. By the way, this is this is what you do want a, a, a cotton rag in your studio. Um, you really, uh, yes, yeah, sure. I mean, if your life depended on it, you could use a paper towel. But no, 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 no. Paper towel. Did I just say the same thing twice? Way too rough, not smooth enough. Forgive me. That's a ridiculous redundancy, but you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm coming in here to the, the light that's coming through the trees. And let's, can you see, yeah, you're zoomed in pretty good. Just watch this come back to life. Watch it come back to life as I come in here and just, just hit that. See, isn't that, isn't that sweet? And it's so subtle because it's all soft edges. When you're painting with a rag, <laughs> you don't worry about on this car. And on the roof of this car. Now, let's come in here and really hit uh, these headlights. And I can bring you back down and get you a little bit closer now. So you can see this area really well. Whoa, there is a big drop for you. All right, you ready? Now, my rag, my rag is dry. But I'm going to go ahead because I think I know that I'm going to want this. I'm going to want these lights to come back. So I just dipped it in turpentine, as you can see. I know I want these lights to come back as light as possible. Now, I haven't said this yet, so let me, let me uh, again, be clear. After applying, you, of course, have made the entire painting darker, right? Getting a nice little glow right around these distant headlights, which is wonderful. So I've made the whole painting darker. That means that um, standard operating procedure, the rule is... Darks first, lights last. Anytime you apply darkness to a painting, you should come back and add light to it. Now, the rag might be sufficient, but uh, many times after having applied, I'm doing some tail lights now, many times after having applied a gl dark glaze, you in fact will want to come back with some light paint. Wow. That's nice. That is nice. I'm in danger now of doing too much. So bear with me for just a minute while I think. Hmm. I'm in danger because the painting, I, what I just did in that few minutes has, I don't know if you probably can't see the difference. You, it's just the, you know, the technology just, but here looking at it in person, person, I've only spent just a few minutes doing the work that you, you've been watching me the whole time. And the painting has improved noticeably. Yes, I was right. 
Darker and cooler down here, good call. Darker up here in the sky, bluer in the sky, good call. This building in particular really, really achieved some, some good stuff. Okay, now I'm going to play a little bit dangerously. I'm going to save those brushes, as I may use them again in a few minutes. I'm going to set them down over here. And uh, I'm going to pick up a small brush. Again, my favorite brushes in the world. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? The cheapest brushes in the world are my favorite. That is just nuts. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Indian yellow and, uh, and oxide red, which is, of course, is a brown. So I've got a very warm, in fact, just for fun, here, look, I've got a piece of paper towel here. Let's, that's the color that I'm going to apply. And again, I'm using Neil McGilp as my medium. And I want to see, I'm going to be a little bit careful because normally I mess up my glazes a whole bunch. But right at the moment, uh, let me look at that. Nope, 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 that's too yellow. Let me pick up some um, permanent orange. Now again, I, I want to tell you, don't panic. <laughs> no, you're ruining your painting. I know, I know, I know. I, I sort of, I am sort of right now. If I left it like this, I would consider this a disaster. <laughs> but I'm not going to leave it like this. Right. Yes, that would be a disaster. It's too, 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 too yellow orange. Okay. I guess I'll keep that brush too, just in case. Let's go back to the rag. Whew. Some of you, are, and and uh, I'm going to use a bit of the rag that still has a tiny bit of Gamsol in it. Now, some of you might be saying, "What?" <laughs> If you're going to take it all off, why did you put it all on? Okay, and I usually have a smart aleck answer to those of you who say that. First of all, I know that you're not a furniture refinisher. Well, of course, how many people are? How many people do refinish furniture? <laughs> not very many. Okay, because every furniture refinisher knows the best furniture finishes in the business are hand-rubbed finishes. That is where you put it on and you take it off. Put it on because I'm actually not taking it all off. I, the, it, I would take it all, all off if I, again, and I will if I need to, I would be taking it all off if I dipped my finger in Gamsol, the, the rag in Gamsol, and rubbed pretty aggressively. And I'm not doing that yet. I'm, I'm rubbing gently. Because my guess is that the painting is going to look slightly better with this with this area slightly warmed up. Yeah, it's popping. All of this is popping just a little bit because there's a faint warm glow is, is, is the word we usually use for this 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 look. Uh, okay, now this building up here. Put it on, then I take it off. How much I take off is determined by how much pressure I use, how long I rub it, and whether I dip my rag in Gamsol. I hope that's all clear. I think that's pretty obvious. And of course, I'm taking this gold, golden glow. I'm taking a lot more of it off because the painting already was quite warm. Uh, before I put on that. So I, it needed, if it needed anything, it was very minimal. Okay, just dipped my rag in Gamsol because I do, there are a few bits in here that I do want to come back as light as they were before I put the glaze on. One is the tail lights over here and just a few of these shop window lights along there and this, this uh, brilliant stoplight right there I want it just as light as it was before I put that glaze in a little Bit of too too much too much orange ish in these little places where I'm rubbing right now. Let me come in here and hit this bottom part of the sky. I want this sky, of course, to get lighter and lighter as it goes down. 
Again, I've already rubbed this building, but now I'm thinking that I need to take some more off. And there we go. Now, most of the time when I do a painting, let me zoom in there just for a second so you can see perhaps how that finished. Most of the time when I apply glaze to a painting like this, I do come back and do more painting. But my feeling to today is that this painting was already so well balanced, if I can use that word. It was the, the, the warm, cool was already pretty... Oh, yeah, I missed this. I missed a... Uh, Tail lights right here. I need to need to get these back to bright. The painting was I was quite happy with it. So that what I'm doing to it right now is quite minimal. How about a little bit off this flag? And now I hope that was instructive. And enjoyable. Let me get you back up again so we can diminish the glaze just a little bit. Let's see what happens if we turn off this light. Do you get a better? Eh, not really. It's just too dark um, for you to see the bottom of the painting. But that'll do. Thanks again for watching. I'll be doing another broadcast actually this afternoon and then yet one more tonight. I'm teaching a uh, how to paint figures in your landscape paintings. It's a, it's a topic I love teaching on. In fact, I just taught on it two days ago on uh, Daily Art Adventure 438, I think it was. So um, if you want to 